dear friends this is the last uh, part of the exercise 2.4 problem number 17 a box with a square base is to have an open top the surface area of the box is 192 square centimeter what should be its dimension in order that the volume is largest that is what should be its dimension the volume should be the largest let x be the side of the square base therefore we write here and h be the height of the box then the surface area of the box is equals to area of the base into plus vertical surface area of the four sides then as the height is h and the base is x therefore vertical surface area of that box is total is 4hx therefore the surface area of the box is x square plus 4xh and that's why the surface area that's we have given that which is the 192 that is a box with a square base is to have an open top the surface area of the box is 192 therefore we have calculated here the surface area of the box that is x square plus hx plus 4hx is equals to 192 and we have here the value of h that is h is equals to 192 minus x square upon 4x the volume of the box means what the area of the base into height therefore we have here v is equals to area of the base and now we will convert this volume in a single variable that we will substitute the value of h that is equals to 192 minus x square upon 4x and that's why here we have v is equals to x square in bracket 192 minus x square upon 4x now we will simplify here this xx get cancel you will get 1 upon 4 in bracket 192 x square minus x raised to 4 upon x and in this way that is instead of we cancel here we are multiplying here that is 192 x square minus x raised to 4 upon x and that's why we have v is equals to 1 by 4 in bracket 192 x minus x cube and now this is the v now what is the given in our problem that we have given that what is that we want to find that what should be its dimensions in order that the volume is the largest therefore we treat here v is equals to 31 by 4 in bracket 192x minus x cube now dv upon dx differentiation of this with respect to x which is 1 by 4 derivative of 192x is 192 minus x cube means what 3x square again the differentiation with respect to x that is the d2v upon dx square is equals to 1 by 4 and derivative of this is a 0 minus 6x and that is equals to d2v upon dx square which is a minus 3 by 2x it's as clear that the value of x is not negative and the second derivative we are getting it's a minus and hence whatever the value of it that x that is the volume will be maximum now to find out the value of the x we equate the first derivative equal to 0 and in this way we have dv upon dx is equals to 0 therefore this 0 is equals to 1 by 4 192 minus 3x square this is the value of dv upon dx and we are substituting here and solve this therefore you will get 192 is equals to 3x square therefore x square is equals to 64 that is 192 upon 3 x square is equals to 
and that's why x is equals to plus or minus 8 but we are taking that is a plus x is equals to 8 so it is not negative therefore in second derivative if we substitute it that's why we are getting it's a minus 12 which is less than 0 therefore the volume of the box is maximum when the sides of the square base that is 8 centimeter now again see this here A box with a square base is to have an open top the surface area of the box is 192 square centimeter what should be its dimensions in order that the volume is largest Let x be the side of the square base, h be the height of the box. The box has a square base that is where considering x is the side of the square. I will find out the surface area of the box. For the surface area of the box, that is the area of the box, area of the base plus area of four vertical surface that is the four sides. And the area of the base is equals to that is x square and the area of the four side is a 4 into hx and that's we have given that which is the 192 therefore x square plus 4xx is equals to 192 h is equals to 192 minus x square upon 4x now the volume of the box is equals to x square into h Therefore, V is equals to x square in bracket 192 minus x square upon 4x. Therefore, f of x is equals to 1 by 4. Or V is equals to. Sorry, we are touching the volume. That is a 192. x square minus x raised to 4 upon x therefore v is equals to 1 by 4 192x minus x cube differentiate with respect to x dv upon dx is equals to 1 by 4 in bracket 192 minus 3x square Now the second derivative d2v upon dx square is equals to 1 by 4 minus 6x that is equals to minus 3 by 2 into x. Now to find out the values of x 
we equate the first derivative equals to 0. Therefore, 0 is equals to 1 by 4 in bracket 192 minus 3x square. Therefore, 192 is equals to 3x square x square is equals to 192 upon 3 and that's why x square is equals to 64 x is equals to 8 now the, the second derivative that is f double dash at x is equals to 8 is equals to minus 3 by 2 into 8 that is a minus 12 which is a less than 0 Therefore, the volume of the box is maximum. When the side of a square base is equals to 8 centimeters. Next is now the next problem is problem number 18. The profit function P of X of a firm selling X atoms per day is given by P of X is equals to in bracket 150 minus X into X minus 1625 find the number of atoms the firm should manufacture to get maximum profit find the maximum profit now here we have given that that is the profit function px which is 150 minus x into x minus 1625 therefore we have given that this is the p of x we will simplify it p of x is equals to 150x minus x square minus 1625 now differentiate this with respect to x p dash of x that is our first derivative which is 150 minus 2x now again differentiate this with respect to x therefore p double dash of x that is equals to minus 2 which is less than 0. Now p dash of x is equals to 0 that is equals to 150 minus 2x. Therefore 2x is equals to 150 and that's why x is equals to 75. Therefore the p of x is equals to 150 minus x into x minus 1625. Now substitute the value of x which is equals to 75. And after the calculation, that is 150 minus 75 into 75 minus 1625. That is 75 into 75 minus 1625. And after the calculation, that is 5625 minus 1625. That comes to the 4000. And hence, the profit is 4000. Now, see this again here. The profit function P of X of a firm selling X atoms per day is given by P of x is equals to 150 minus x into x minus 1625. Find the number of atoms the firm should manufacture to get 
maximum profit find the maximum profit like now we have that is p of x is equals to in bracket 150 minus x into x minus 1625 now differentiate this with respect to x p dash of x is equals to now it's a derivative now first of all we'll simplify it that is p of x is equals to 150x minus x square minus 1625. Therefore, p dash of x is equals to 150 minus 2x. Now again differentiate this with respect to x. And we get p double dash of x is equals to minus 2, which is less than 0. P dash of x is equals to 0. We will find out the value of x that is 150 minus 2x is equals to 0. 2x is equals to 150, x is equals to 75 and therefore P of x. When we substitute x is equals to 75, that is P of 75 is equals to 150 minus 75 into 75 minus 1625. That is 75 into 75 minus 1625. And its value is 5625 minus 1625. That is equals to 4000. Therefore, P is equals to 4000. Now again, we will see here the next problem. Problem number 19. Find the two numbers whose sum is 15 and when the square of one multiplied by the cube of the other is maximum. Now the sum of the two numbers is 15 and what is the condition we have given the square of 1 is a multiplied by the cube of the other and that should be the maximum. Let the one part of that number is x, second part is 15 minus x and by the condition that is a product we are, we are taking here p. By the given condition p of x is equals to 15 minus x bracket square into x cube one part and second part and that's why we expand this then we'll get that is the p of x is equals to 225 minus 30x plus x square into x cube to get the more convenient for the simplification we are taking 50 minus x and it's a square therefore if we expand this p of x is equals to 225 minus 30x plus x square into x cube you can take any of these two numbers that is a x square and next is a 15 minus x bracket you you can take anything now the p of x is equals to this is a simplification that is a 225 x cube minus 30 x raised to 4 plus x raised to 5. Now differentiate this with respect to x p dash of x that is a 225 into 3 x square minus 120 x cube plus 5 x raised to 4. This is the p dash that is a 620 675 x square minus 120 x cube plus 5x raised to 4. Now differentiate this with respect to x. Therefore, p double dash of x is equals to 675 into 2x minus 360x square plus 20x cube. 
and after simplification you will get 1350x minus 360x square plus 20x cube. Now to find out the value of x we will equate the first derivative equals to 0 and in that is the p dash of x is equals to 675x square minus 120x cube plus 5x raised to 4. If you take 5x square as a common, then in bracket you will get 135 minus 24x plus x square. And after simplification, you will get x square minus 24x plus 135 equals to 0. And they are factors. And afterwards, these factors are minus 15x minus 9x. And if you simplify this, then you will get x is equals to 15 or x is equals to 9. x is equals to 15 is not possible because their sum is 15. And therefore, we take the second value that is x is equals to 9. Therefore, the first number is 9 and the second number is 6. Now, see this again here. And see this again here. Yeah. This is a P, P dash. It's a second derivative that is six twenty five into two X minus. 360x square plus 20x cube. Now equate the first derivative equals to 0. If you take 5x square as a common, then in bracket 135u minus 24x plus x square. Therefore, x square minus 24x plus 135u equals to 0. Now, factorize this. x square minus 15x minus 9x plus 135 equal to 0. x has common, then in bracket you will get x minus 15. 9 in bracket x minus 15 equals to 0. Therefore, x minus 15 in first bracket, second bracket x minus 9 is equals to 0. Therefore, x minus 15 is equals to 0 or x minus 9 is equals to 0. Therefore, x is equals to 15 or x is equals to 9. x is equals to 15 is uh, not possible. Therefore, x is equals to 9. Therefore, the first number is 9, second number is 6. Now, the example number 20. Show that among the rectangle of given area, The square has the least perimeter. Now here, now here x is the length of the rectangle and y is the breadth of the rectangle. The area of the rectangle is equals to xy. 
and the perimeter of the rectangle is equals to 2 in bracket x plus y. Therefore, a is equals to x y and y is equals to a upon x. Now, what about the perimeter? The perimeter is equals to 2 in bracket x plus y. Now, we will convert this in a single variable that is x. Therefore, p is equals to 2 in bracket x plus a upon x. Now, differentiate this. What is the condition that we have given? That is the list perimeter. Therefore, we will differentiate this dp upon dx. That is equals to 2 derivative of x is 1 a upon x that is a minus a upon x square. Now, equate this dp upon dx is equals to 0. That is a 2 in bracket 1 minus a upon x square is equals to 0. Therefore, 1 minus a upon x square is equals to 0. Therefore, a is equals to x square. Therefore, x is equals to a root of a or x is equals to minus a root of a. What about the second derivative? That is a p double dash of x that is 2 in bracket the derivative of a upon x square is that is the p double dash 2 minus a minus 2 into minus 2 upon x cube and that's why this minus minus will become plus and we will have p double dash of x is equals to 4a upon x cube now we have the value of x that we have calculated when the first derivative equals to 0. That value of a is equals to x is equals to a root of a and if we substitute here then x is equals to root of a then we will get here the positive. That is the 4a which is greater than 0 4a upon a raised to 3 by 2. That is second derivative in the second derivative test we are getting it's a positive that is a greater than 0. Therefore, the given function has minimum value at x is equals to a root of a and that's why now when x is equals to a root of a, y is equals to a upon x. But what is the value of x? x is a root of a. Therefore, y is equals to root a, y is equals to root a x is equals to y is equals to root a. Hence, the square has the smallest perimeter when x is equals to y. Show that among the rectangles of given area, The square has a least perimeter. Now, this is the rectangle. Its breadth is y and the length is x. Let the length of rectangle is equals to x. Breadth of rectangle is equals to y. Area of rectangle is equals to x, y. Perimeter of rectangle is equals to 2 in bracket x plus y. Area of rectangle is equals to x into y. Therefore, y is equals to a upon x.
Now the perimeter is equals to 2 in bracket x plus 1. That is p is equals to 2 in bracket x plus a upon x. Now differentiate this with respect to x. dp upon dx is equals to 2 in bracket. The first derivative, derivative of x is 1 minus a upon x square. Now dp upon dx is equals to 0. That is a 2 in bracket 1 minus a upon x square is equals to 0. That is 1 minus a upon x square is equals to 0. Therefore a is equals to x square. And the value of x is equals to root of a or x is equals to minus root a. Now the p double dash is equals to 2 in bracket minus a in bracket minus 2 upon x cube. p double dash is equals to 4a upon x cube. Now x is equals to root of a. p double dash of a is equals to 4a upon root of a bracket cube. Therefore p double dash of root of a is equals to Four upon root of a. That is a raised to one upon two, which is the positive. And this is the condition for the minimum. Therefore, the given function has. Given function as a minimum value at x is equals to root a. Now x is equals to root a. But we know that the y is equals to a upon x. Therefore, y is equals to a upon root of a and that's y is equals to root a. Therefore x is equals to y is equals to root of a. Hence the square has smallest perimeter when x is equals to y. Now the next is problem number 21. Show that the height of a closed right circular cylinder of a given volume and the least surface area is equals to its diameter. You can see this problem. Show that the height of closed right circular cylinder of a given volume and the least surface area and that is equals to its diameter. Now here that is we want to show that this height is equals to its diameter but what we want to consideration or consideration is that its a surface area least surface area. Whatever that we have given its a volume, we want to find out its surface area, find out its a first derivative, second derivative, then we will get its a positive 
and then we will get that its uh, surface area is the least and at that time if we consider this condition then we will get this h is equals to diameter that is h is equals to 2r this is the important now see this here let the volume of the cylinder v is equals to pi r square into h therefore h is equals to v upon 4 pi r square surface area of cylinder is equals to 2 pi r in bracket r plus h therefore that is 2 pi r in bracket r plus v upon pi r square now if we simplify this then you will get 2 pi r square plus 2 pi r into v upon pi r square then you will get 2 pi r square plus 2 v upon r now this is the required our surface area we want to find out its the first derivative second derivative first derivative equals to zero if you, when we find out its a second derivative it must be the positive for the given value of r now differentiate this with respect to r ds upon dr is equals to 4 pi r minus 2v upon r square that is the derivative of 1 upon r the derivative of 1 upon x is minus 1 upon x square in a same way we have we have taken here therefore ds upon dr is equals to 0 therefore 4 pi r minus 2v upon r square is equals to 0 therefore 4 pi r is equals to 2v upon r square and if you simplify this then you will get r cube is equals to 2v upon 4 pi and that is equals to v upon 2 pi and the v is equals to 2 pi r cube therefore r is equals to cubic root of v upon 2 pi and that's why you will have the r value of this r now ds upon dr is equals to that's we have calculated here which is a 2 pi r minus 2v upon r square now we will find out its a second derivative that is a d2s upon dr square is equals to 4 pi and the derivative of 1 upon r square that is a 2 minus 2 upon r cube and that the minus and this minus will become plus and that's why i had written here plus therefore d2s upon dr square is equals to 4 pi plus 4 v upon r cube and that's why if we, we will have that is a 4 pi plus 4 v upon r cube but see what is the value of this r cube r cube is equals to v upon 2 pi and that's why we are substituting here this r cube it is a v upon 2 pi and therefore 4 pi plus 4 v upon 1 into multiplied and reciprocal that is a 2 pi upon v now this v v get cancel you will get 4 pi plus 8 pi and it's a second derivative is the positive that is a 12 pi which is the positive hence the surface area is least and therefore v is equals to 4 pi r square into h and if we substitute its a value what about its a volume volume is a 2 pi r cube and that is equals to 4 pi r square into h and after the calculation you will get that is a h is equals to 2 r that is nothing but the diameter that's why when the surface area is a list then the height of that cylinder is equals to the diameter that is here we substitute the value of v that we have calculated before this what are that value the value of this for the ds upon dr is equals to 0 we get the value of v is equals to 2 pi r cube and hence we are substituting here and if we simplify then you will get h is equals to 2 r now we'll see again here show that 
the height of closed right circular cylinder of a given volume and least surface area is equal to its uh, diameter that is the height is equal to diameter this we want to prove that h is equal to 2r or h is equal to d let the volume of cylinder v is equal to pi r square into h Therefore, h is equal to v upon pi r square. Surface area of the cylinder is equal to 2 pi r in bracket r plus h. And we will substitute the value of h is v upon pi r square. That is this v is in single variable therefore v is equals to 2 pi r square plus 2v upon r therefore s is equals to 2 pi r square plus 2v upon r now differentiate this with respect to x ds upon dr is equals to 4 pi r minus 2v upon r square ds upon dr is equals to 0 that's the first derivative equals to 0 4 pi r minus 2v upon r square equals to 0 and that's why we have the value this is the 4 pi r is equals to 2v upon r square and that is if we simplify this then you will get r cube is equals to 2v upon 4 pi and that is r cube is equals to v upon 2 pi therefore r is equals to cubic root of 2v sorry cubic root of v upon 2 pi Now ds upon dr is equals to 4 pi r square minus 2v upon r square now differentiate this with respect to x d2s upon dr square is equals to 4 pi and the derivative of 1 upon r square is a minus 2 r upon r cube and if we simplify this then this value is important that the value of r cube is equals to v upon 2 pi therefore 4 pi plus this is the 4 pi upon 1 into 2 pi upon v again we will simplify here that is the 4 pi plus 8 pi that is equals to 12 pi which is the positive this is the second derivative test and therefore the surface area is least Now v is equal to 2 pi r cube. Now here we will substitute the value of that v. This is important. v is equal to pi r square into h. And what is the v is equal to 2 pi r cube? Therefore 2 pi r cube is equal to 2 pi r square into h. Now here pi pi get cancelled. You will get 2 r square r cube upon r square 
is equal to h and if you simplify this then you will get h is equal to 2 r hence the height is equal to the diameter when the surface area is least and the volume is given Let's see the next problem. Find the volume of the largest cylinder that can be inscribed in a sphere of radius or centimeter. Find the volume of the largest cylinder that can be inscribed in a sphere of radius or centimeter volume of the largest cylinder now see this here that can be inscribed in a sphere see this here this is the sphere r is the radius and the height total is h this is h by 2 h by 2 again the radius of the sphere is a small r and the radius of the cylinder is a capital r now in the figure small h and the capital r are the height and the radius of the cylinder and small r this is small r it's a, a radius of a sphere therefore from the triangle ogc ogc r square is equals to og square plus gc square therefore r square is equals to h upon 2 bracket square plus r square also the volume of the cylinder volume of the cylinder that is i had written here v sub x c that is equals to pi r square into h therefore v sub x c is equals to pi in bracket its a value is the value of capital R square is equals to R square minus H square upon 4. Bracket complete into H. And if we simplify it, V sub X C is equals to pi R square into pi H into R square minus 4 minus pi H cube upon 4. Now we will find out its uh, first derivative. That is V sub X C is equals to that is a pi r square v sub derivative of v sub c with respect to h that is a dvc upon dh which is the pi r square derivative of h is 1 and derivative of h cube is a 3 h square 4 pi pi by 4 is as it is that is a minus 3 by 4 pi h square now we'll equate this first derivative equals to 0 then you will get pi r square minus 3 by 4 pi h square equals to 0. Now you will have the value of h square is equals to 4 upon 3 r square. Therefore h is equals to take the square root on both sides you will get 2 upon root 3 into r. Therefore v suffix c that is a dvc upon dh is equals to that is a pi r square minus 3 by 4 pi h square now it's a second derivative that is a here is the this term is independent of h it's a derivative is a zero and the derivative of 3 by 4 pi h square is a 3 by 4 pi derivative of h square is a 2h which is the negative that is a height is not negative therefore overall this value must be negative and it is a less than zero that is a d2vc that is the volume of the cylinder upon dh square is equals to minus 3 pi h upon 2 which is the less than 0. Again we have the volume of the cylinder that is equals to 4 pi r square into h. Now what is the volume of r square now see this here this r square is equals to this r square is equals to r square minus h by 2 bracket square same thing is here r square
capital R square minus the radius of the sphere minus h square upon 4. This is the radius of the sphere which is the smaller square and that's why you have this is the value this is the radius of the square h square upon 4 if we substitute the value of the h that we have calculated here what's the value va value of h that h is equals to 2 upon root 3 into r this is the value of the h and if we substitute it that is r square minus 2 upon root 3 r bracket square into 1 by 4 and again if we simplify you will get r square is equals to capital r square is equals to r square minus r square upon 3 and if we simplify r square is equals to 2 r square upon 3 therefore the volume of the cylinder that is a pi r square into h and again substitute the value of r square in terms of the radius of the sphere that is a 2 r square upon 3 and if you simplify then you will get v suffix c which is the volume of the cylinder 4 pi r cube upon 3 root 3 centimeter cube therefore the volume of the cylinder is 4 pi r cube upon 3 root 3 centimeter cube by mistake it is a written as cube but you can treat as it is a square yes it is a clear 4 pi r cube upon 3 root 3 centimeter cube now see this again here yeah. in figure I will again repeat the problem. Find the volume of the largest cylinder that can be inscribed in a sphere of the radius r centimeter. This was the problem. Now in this figure, this small r is the radius of the sphere. Capital R is the radius of this cylinder. And h is the height which is divided into two parts that is h by 2 and the h by 2 now in figure h r are the height and the radius of the cylinder so, smaller is the radius of the sphere Now R square is equals to from the triangle OGC. OG square plus GC square. What's its a value? That is a H upon 2 bracket square plus GC. That is capital R square. Also the volume of Volume of a cylinder is equals to V suffix C is equals to pi R square into H. That is pi in bracket. We'll substitute the value of capital R square. That is a small r square minus h square upon 4 into this h. Therefore, v sub x is equals to pi h r square minus pi h cube upon 4. If you simplify it. Now it's a differentiation that is a derivative with respect to h which is the derivative of h is here 1 and h cube is a 3 pi 3 h square 
which is 3 by 4 by which is square. Now equate this first derivative equals to 0. That is the dvc upon dh is equals to 0. Pi r square minus 3 by 4 pi r pi h square that is equals to 0. This pi pi get cancelled. You will get h is equals to If we simplify this, h square is equals to 4 upon 3 r square. That is h is equals to 2 upon root 3 into r. Therefore, d p upon that is a differentiation of v sub c upon dh that is equals to pi r square minus 3 pi by 4 h square. Now, differentiation with respect to i h again differentiate this. The derivative of first part is 0, it is independent of h. 3 by 4 pi into 2h that is a 6 pi h upon 4 and that is negative. Whatever the value of h, it is a negative and that is why the volume is maximum. which is our condition and if we substitute the value of h here that is the 2 upon root 3 r bracket square into 1 by 4 that we have calculated earlier that r square minus 4 upon 3 r square into 1 by 4 r square minus r square upon 4 that is the capital r square is equals to 3 r square upon sorry 2 r square upon 3 Therefore, V sub x c that is equals to 4 value of r square that is the 2 r square upon 3 into 2 upon root 3 into r which is the value of h and this is the volume of the cylinder in terms of the radius of the sphere. Therefore, the volume of the cylinder is equal to 4 pi r cube upon 3 root 3 centimeter cube. Again, by mistake, it is a centimeter square, but I had written there. Now, next problem number 23. Show that y is equal to log of 1 plus x minus 2x upon 2 plus x, x is a greater than 0 given in the textbook, but I am treating here x is a positive, is an increasing function on its domain. Okay, add corrected here. If you are agree, then write this, otherwise, you can't y is equals to log of 1 plus x minus 2x upon x plus 2. Now differentiate this with respect to x. dy by dx is equals to 1 upon 1 plus x minus apply here the quotient rule. That is a 2 plus x into derivative of 2x minus 2x into ddx of 2 plus x upon 2 plus x bracket square by applying here quotient rule. Therefore, that is equals to 1 upon 1 plus x minus in bracket 2 in bracket 2 plus x. Derivative of 2x is 2, 2 into 2 plus x minus 2x into derivative of 2 plus x. That is equals to 1. Therefore, 1 upon 1 plus x minus 4 upon 2 plus x bracket square. And if we simplify here, I think the cross multiplication because these two denominators are different. That is a 2 plus x bracket square minus 4 in bracket 1 plus x upon 1 plus x into 2 plus x bracket square. And if we simplify it, that is a dy by 
dx that is the x square upon 1 plus x into 2 plus x which is the positive if x is a greater than 0. Now here the given function is a increasing okay the given function is a increasing on its a domain when x is the positive okay when x is a greater than 0 that's we want to prove you can see this here what we have done here that y is equals to log of 1 plus x minus 2x upon 2 plus x we have these increasing that is the first derivative we simplify it and we have here the first derivative is a positive for x is a greater than 0 y is equals to log of 1 plus x minus 2x upon 2 plus x where x is a greater than minus 1 is an increasing function on its uh, domain you may treat that is uh, also greater than 0 also that's a positive y is equals to log of we find out this the first derivative y is equals to log of in bracket 1 plus x minus 2x upon 2 plus x now differentiating this with respect to x Then you will have the so first derivative I had made their correction that is uh, the value of the x must be greater than 0 if you are agree then write this answer that is 1 upon x, 1 upon 1 plus x minus 4 upon 2 plus x a bracket square. If you simplify it, then you will get 4 plus 4x plus x square minus 4 minus 4x. 1 plus x into 2 plus x bracket square if you simplify then you will get that is x square upon 1 plus x into 2 plus x which is a greater than 0 if x is a greater than 0 this is the condition for the increasing in this case add make the correction if you are agree then write down this therefore the given function is increasing on its uh, domain when x is a greater than 0 now the next is prove that y is equals to 4 sin x now if we differentiate this that is the dy by dx applying here the quotient rule that is a 2 plus cos theta into d d theta of 4 sin theta minus 4 sin theta into derivative of 2 plus cos theta upon 2 plus cos theta bracket square minus derivative of this theta is minus 1 and if we simplify again this that is the derivative of 4 sin theta which is the 4 cos theta and the derivative of cos theta is a minus sin theta then we will simplify here that is a 4 cos theta plus 
4 cos square theta minus minus plus 4 sin square theta. We will take the 4 as a common and you will have uh, that is the sin square theta plus cos square theta that is equals to 1. Now what is happening here that is a dy by d theta. Here the value of dy by d theta that is a 8 cos theta plus 4 upon 2 plus cos square theta cos of theta 2 plus cos theta bracket square minus 1 is a clearly it is a positive. It is a greater than 0. Therefore the given function is a for this interval where theta belongs to 0 to pi by 2. If we consider theta is equals to 0 then it is no problem. If we consider theta is equals to pi by 2 till there is no problem if it is 0 then it is a 4 upon 4 that is which is again the greater than or greater than 0 or greater than or equal to 0. It is clear that therefore the given function is a increasing. That is here whatever that uh, you take the values of this theta. Theta is equals to 0 or the pi by 2. If we take 0 then it is no problem. If we take the pi by 2 its value is a greater than or equal to 0. Therefore dy upon d theta the given function is increasing where theta belongs to 0 to pi by 2. And in this way we have completed the exercise 2.4. Now we will see in the next video. Till then goodbye.